is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. It's the calm before the storm out there tonight. 45 degrees in Colorado Springs. Tomorrow, the rush hour could be the slush hour across parts of El Paso County. Further north you go, the more snow you're going to see and the more dangerous travel will be. 45 degrees in Pueblo, clear skies and no wind right now. Here's what's going on. This is your big weather story. Cold front down to the south of us tomorrow morning. Rotation around this low is going to bring in some strong north wind. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour in some areas. Wind and snow, a bad combination for travelers. Again, the worst of it is going to be northern El Paso County, then back up into Teller County. Here's what happens hour by hour. Early tomorrow morning, warm enough initially for some rain shower activity that will all change to snow as the colder air pushes in early tomorrow morning. We will have snow across northern El Paso County. That stuff really blossoms across southern Colorado later in the morning. Finally, some good news for those parched prairies in southeastern Colorado. Storm is fast moving. I think by early afternoon it's already history across the springs clearing from north to south as that drier air punches in and dry skies tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. Here's how much snow we can expect. Not much in the springs. I think those two inch totals will be the further north you go. Two to four from northern El Paso County into Teller County with that strong north wind that'll really prevent snow from piling up across Colorado Springs and Pueblo. It's a downslope flow as that air pushes down the Palmer Divide. Wet mountains, wet mountain valleys, sangres anywhere from three to six inches of snow by late tomorrow afternoon. And yes, it will be a high impact storm with those winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour. My main concerns again, northern Colorado Springs, northern El Paso County over the hill up into Metro Denver, also west of the springs up into Teller County. Allow yourself a lot of extra travel time if you have to head in those directions. Cold this morning with lows into the 20s. Good recovery, both the springs and Pueblo topping out at 67 degrees this afternoon. It won't be that warm for quite some time. Outside right now, still mild out there, especially across parts of the valley. La Junta with a current temperature of 57 degrees. Low temperatures tonight, the warm ahead of that storm, only dropping down into the 30s across much of southeastern Colorado. That's warmer than average. Temps tomorrow, about 30 degrees colder than what we had today. And the wind is going to blow, so it's going to feel even colder than that. You'll need to bundle up those heavy coats, the jackets, you'll need the sweaters, you'll need gloves, parkas, earmuffs. Yeah, it's finally going to feel like November around here again. In Colorado Springs, warmer on Wednesday. Going to see a weak storm system roll through the Rockies Thursday into Friday. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a few flurries late Thursday night into Friday morning. Just a one on the storm impact scale. And right now we're looking at a dry weekend with temperatures into the 40s. Pueblo, a little rain and then snow tomorrow. I hope you get a good shot, but I just don't think it's going to amount to much. You've only had a trace of precipitation the entire month in Pueblo. That's how dry it's been. Downslope flow brings warmer air on Wednesday. Dry Turkey Thanksgiving, then late Thursday night into Friday morning. A few flakes possible. I don't think it's going to amount to much. That's why we're not even rating it on our storm impact scale at this point. Canyon City, you will be cool tomorrow. Temperatures only in the upper 30s. That's also the coolest you've had all month long. Thanksgiving, no heat wave. No, I guess I should probably call it an eat wave on Thanksgiving. Maybe a couple of snow flurries late Thursday night into Friday morning in Woodland Park. A high impact storm for you. It's a three on our storm impact scale. Roads will be slick and icy, so plan on plenty of extra travel time tomorrow morning. Storm number two is a week when it arrives late Thursday night into Friday.